Hi, this is Eric with BC Gurus, and this is part one of Web Forms. So to start with, I want to talk about why uh, Web Forms are so great, and that basically comes down to the fact that they allow you to interact with your customers. So you can really have kind of a two-way conversation with your customers. It doesn't just have to be you publishing web content. You can get information and feedback back from your customers as well, and that can take on a lot of different forms. So you can collect payments, you can register for people, uh, or you can register people for events, uh, you can subscribe them to email marketing lists, which allow you to communicate with them further down the line. You can sign them up for a secure zone, which is the, uh, think of a site uh, or a membership site, that's what a secure zone is. And then web forms get really powerful because you can mix and match a lot of these things. So you can uh, collect a payment before someone becomes a member of your site and can then access your secure content. Uh, same goes for events, if you want to say a, uh, sell a ticket to an event, you can just use BC's payment features and web forms to uh, handle that for you. And uh, as far as payments go, they can integrate with uh, just plain old PayPal standard if that's all you need, or you can also use a uh, merchant account and payment gateway, and BC can integrate out of the box with a lot of different gateways throughout the world. So uh, if you want to take uh, credit card payments right on your site, you can do that. And uh, for web forms, there's really no compromises. So anything you like to be able to do with regards to forms, you probably can. Uh, you can send uh, your your visitors uh, thank you emails when they fill your forms out. You can notify yourself. Uh, you can completely customize the look and feel. And uh, a lot of times the functionality is well of the web form, so you don't have to use the default user interface that BC gives you, although you can. Uh, they, of course, support validation, both client and server side. You can report on your form submission, so you can get all of your data and filter that very easily. And uh, you can also export that data so you're not uh, locked in and you don't have to leave all of your data in BC. So if you want to get it out and use it in a program like Excel and build even more advanced reports, you can do that. And there's also an API as well that allows you to access this information. So for a table of contents, let's just talk about what we're going to do in this video series. And we're going to start with just the basic setup of a web form and putting it on a page. And then we're going to do a video on all the different types of fields you can add to web forms. So uh, we've broken those down kind of by functionality. So there's going to be a different video for each of the different uh, field groups that you can add to the form. And then we're going to talk about uh, customizing that form, the look and feel, and uh, some functions, so uh, making the web form behave and look how you want it to. And then we're going to end with uh, workflow notifications. And the workflow system is uh, how you get notified of uh, form submissions. And uh, so that's going to be the last video in the series. <clears throat> Finally, we've got the uh, resources, and uh, we've got uh, three main resources that come with this series. It's, uh, we'll start with a checklist, which is just a uh, list of things to look out for when you're building web forms and things you want to remember and when you're uh, building the form and testing the form. Uh, we've got a documentation reference, which kind of covers some of the specifics of uh, the documentation, uh, just how the, the web form system system works. And then we uh, also have included some code references and sample forms uh, that you can take a look at as well. 